Vice President and TUMO board member Rafi Krikorian is in Armenia for a week-long visit. Krikorian and his team managed to core infrastructure of Twitter, including his databases and software libraries. Sivilna talked to Rafi about his visit to Armenia, the workshop he will conduct, as well as the future of IT in Armenia and beyond. I'm originally born in New York in the United States, uh, and then I was running my own company for a while after I graduated MIT, and the way the story goes is my wife decided to become a postdoc at UC Berkeley, so I sold my company, moved to the West Coast, and I needed to find a job. So I ran into Twitter. Twitter was a small company at the time. This was around 2009, and I found it just entertaining. Like, Twitter was this funny product. So I showed up there, I applied to be an engineer, and then ever since the 2010 World Cup, I proposed that we needed to rebuild Twitter to make it more resilient to the modern day events. And ever since then, I've just been sort of rising in the ranks. I choose Twitter for three reasons, basically. One was that there seems to be really large technical problems Twitter needed to solve. Like, to be a platform for the world to talk in real time is something never, no one's ever tried to do before. So it's really hard technical problems. The second is that people really cared about Twitter. Like, and you can see it today, right? Like Twitter, people use it to overthrow governments. People use it to talk about elections. The Olympics are huge on Twitter. World Cup is going to be massive on Twitter. And then third, the and this sounds cheesy, but the people who work at Twitter are awesome. Like when I was interviewing with a whole bunch of different companies, I remember telling my wife at the end, like, you know, I'm pretty sure those guys will pay me more. I'm pretty sure those guys will be successful. But people at Twitter are passionate about what they do. And that is what really stuck with me more. Like, you're going to spend more hours awake at work than I will at home. So I want to be around people who really loved what they did. So I first came to Armenia, actually my first trip ever to Armenia was two years ago. I was here for one day and one day only. I was invited to give a talk at a conference that was coincidentally at the TUMO Center. And then after I sort of showed up here at TUMO, I was, I was struck by Basically, I've never seen anywhere else in the world like this. I've never seen someplace so invested in giving children access to things that they have never would normally not be encountering in their day-to-day -day lives. So I reached out to the Tuma Center, like, how can I help? And they suggested that, one, I can join their board. Two, I can help them rethink the way they're thinking about computer science curriculum. And then three, they invited me to give a series of workshops. So one of them I'm giving today, which is basically, I'm generic generically phrasing it, like how, how does the web work? Like what, what do you need to do to build the web? Like Twitter is one of the foremost experts in like basically making the real-time web function. So I want to try to do very ambitiously in eight hours, like a tour of like how to build technologies like the ones that Twitter uses to power its site. And tomorrow I'm doing a workshop on basically data mining. So Twitter is one of the largest data sets on the planet of the, what people are really talking about. So how do we get all that data into systems? Where are the tools? tools Twitter uses to figure out what's the most engaging, compelling uh, pieces of content out there and then tell students how they could do the same thing for themselves. How can they figure out like how, what are people really talking about in Armenia? What are people really with, with trending hashtags? Things like that. Give them the tools so they can really figure that out. So I'm hoping two things really. One is to get a breadth of like a view of what it really takes to build web scale technologies and I think that's in uh, uh, so that's both in like how to build like uh, a website that can handle a lot of traffic or a web service that can handle a lot of traffic similar to Twitter's but also the second thing is like how to really think about data at a scale like we're we're in a world now where there is more information being generated every single second than anyone can really look at so how do you program a computer to look at all that information so data mining I think is a, such a useful skill moving forward that I'm hoping to get a breadth of view of that I don't expect them to be experts when they're done but I'm hoping that that some exposure will generate some curiosity that they'll want to go and look at more and more things. So I was here two years ago just for a day, but I, like, I met a lot of people on that one day who I've kept in contact with over the last two years. And the thing I can say is that 
I've seen more and more entrepreneurial spirit come out of the IT space in those last two years than I expected would happen. So what I'm hoping that we can continue doing is sort of like a dual investment. So one is sort of giving more tools to people who are further along in their careers to try crazier things or be exposed to what the world is thinking and simultaneously do some investments in children effectively and giving them exposure to the kind of thinking they need to be able to do later in their lives in order to participate in this global IT economy. So giving the right interventions now for teenagers to, to give them the right kind of problem thinking skills or problem solving skills, the right kind of technology access so that they can later in their careers be like, oh, I've seen this type of problem before, I can do this, or basically not be scared to try something new. During his week-long visit, Grigoran will lead two computer programming workshops, give a public lecture and meet with representatives of the Armenian IT community and members of the government.